In the modern world, air travel has become an essential part of our lives, enabling us to connect with loved ones, conduct business on a global scale, and explore new destinations. However, one aspect that often sparks curiosity and sometimes frustration among passengers is the practice of airlines overselling plane tickets. In this video, I'm going to explain the rationale behind this strategy, focusing on how airlines utilize this technique to maximize profits while minimizing the impact of no-show passengers and empty seats. Overselling is a common practice in the airline industry where carriers intentionally sell more tickets than the actual capacity of the aircraft. And this practice might seem counterintuitive to some as it raises questions about passenger comfort as well as fairness. However, airlines rely on sophisticated statistical models, historical data and customer behavior analysis to predict the likelihood of no-shows and cancellations somewhat accurately. Airlines actually face a constant challenge in dealing with no-show passengers who fail to board their scheduled flight even with confirmed tickets. Simply put, no-shows can significantly affect an airline's revenue and operational efficiency, as empty seats represent lost opportunities to generate income. By overselling tickets, airlines attempt to hedge against the possibility of no-shows thereby optimizing seat occupancy. It's common knowledge that airlines experience dynamic shifts in demand throughout the year due to things like holidays, peak seasons, and special events which might see a surge in ticket sales. Whereas in off-peak periods, demand may plummet which means there might be an abundance of extra seats available. By overselling tickets, airlines aim to strike a balance between supply and demand, ensuring that aircraft operate at or almost at full capacity in both high and low demand periods. With the primary motivation behind this being maximizing profit and also managing revenue. Airlines operate on very tight profit margins, so an unoccupied seat represents a lost opportunity to generate income. By employing revenue management strategies, airlines are able to optimize the price of tickets depending on certain factors like booking times, destinations, and the routes that they're going to be taking, some being more popular than others. Where overselling complex Complements this approach, allowing airlines to secure higher revenues even when faced with uncertain passenger behavior. And when you take a look at airline profit margins, it would be safe to assume that they know what they are doing. As one simple example, Qantas, who is Australia's largest domestic and international airline, was on track to deliver a record $2.5 billion dollar profit in the first half of the 2023 to 2024 financial year. The operational costs of airlines are influenced by many factors, including things like the price of fuel, maintenance expenses, and the cost of labor. All of these expenses are subject to fluctuations. So by overselling, they are able to mitigate the impact of some of these cost volatilities. I'm sure that this additional buffer would help offset some of the costs associated with these unpredictable expenses whilst also contributing to the financial stability of their business. While the concept of airlines overselling plane tickets may raise eyebrows, it serves as a calculated and strategic approach to managing passenger demand and optimizing profits. With the key point being, by using data-driven analysis, it allows the airlines to make informed decisions because they've gathered this data and been able to scrutinize it down to the point that benefits their business in a way that allows them to continue growing and staying afloat even in the hardest of times. Minus some corporate bailouts, I'm sure you are aware of some scandals that have gone on in your country. As a consumer, understanding the economics behind overselling can lead to a higher appreciation. I'm going to put it that way, I think it's the best way to put it, for the airlines and the challenges that they're facing in a highly competitive industry. Obviously, the one-liner from the airlines is always they aim to meet their financial goals whilst also maintaining customer satisfaction. However, in my opinion, overselling even when managed responsibly is just another mechanism they can use in their arsenal to maximize profits 
irrespective of if they say it's for a good reason or not, it's kind of a shady practice and it's pretty interesting that it still goes on in today's day and age. Being 2024 at the time of recording this video, in lots of countries around the world, it is still done every single day. It'll be interesting to see if this practice stops or slows in the future. I have my doubts as they're gonna do everything in their power to be allowed to continue doing it. What's your opinion? Leave me a comment down in the description below or below the description, that would be great. And that's pretty much all I have for you today. I hope you learned something, I hope it was insightful. And if it was, hit that like and subscribe button. And if it wasn't, hit that like and subscribe button. That's the only thing you really need to do. I'm gonna leave you there. Have a good day, have a good week. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.